Hey everybody, this is Daniel Miller. Thought I just made a video. Obviously it screwed up. Um, what I'm working on is a 69 Corvette. I've got these Trick Flow Twisted Wedge Generation 2 heads. Um, they're at a intake valve angle of 16 degrees, exhaust valve angle of 18 degrees. I, I like that because as opposed to putting an LS in here, uh, you can get heads that flow the same or better. These heads flow supposed to be 250 8 CFM at 500 lift um, so either way I'm excited to run these heads but you know with my flat well with these uh, bone stock motor I'm worried about the valve reliefs and piston valve clearance so what I mocked up and just did a video on that didn't get recorded is uh, demonstrating um, as the cam that I have in here is Lenati uh, Bracket Master 2 it's got 515 lift. Uh, it's on both intake and exhaust. It's a 246 or 248 duration cam at 50 thousandths and on, on a 108 center lobe. Um, I think it's going to be a good cam. Uh, the reason I went with this cam is everyone says that uh, on these twisted wedge heads with the valve angle being what it is, that you're limited to 525 lift, 106 LSA and no more than 236 duration so this cam while it's i would have liked to went more to lift um it does have more duration than is advised so i was a little worried is is it going to hit that's the question of the day so i'll show you on this head it is uh they got this double spring with a damper in it i've taken the damp the reason i disassembled this one is to get the damper out so i've got uh what i did was put this head on the motor um and demonstrate pushing uh with the cam so at top dead center both intake and exhaust are closed uh the exhaust valve open uh closes just as it finishes getting to the top the intake valve starts to open uh as it on its downstroke and i do believe that everything's happy so with this play-doh this is after i put it all the way back all the way to the top um i just push down on them as much as they'll go uh which on the intake is probably around 200 lift uh before it starts touching and the exhaust valve actually seats to the pocket of the valve relief pretty well um which you can see here the valve relief in the piston and then it matches kind of well, pretty well. Um, so, but you know, the, the intake valve is moved on this head and uh, it's quite a bit of difference there. However, I think it will be fine. We will see, I am gonna put a new timing set on this uh, car because it's a little loose and I don't want uh, any valve float. However, I do have a question with these heads, uh, they're shimmed. So we got the cup in here. The bottom cup on uh, here is actually, it says 303 on it. I don't know what that means, but it's, I assume it's 30 thousandths or maybe just a hair of more than 30 thousandths uh, shim thickness. And then on the top, uh, the, uh, which is, uh, it, it's actually 60 thousandths thick. I would call it a shim or a cup, whichever. Um, I thought about removing one of them to try to soften the springs a little to run with a flat tappet as opposed to, to a roller. Um, I was a little worried about killing this cam, but I don't think that I'm gonna remove them because you got installed heights and all that good stuff. Um, at either rate, uh, I'm, and I'm, I'd be a little worried about valve float. Um, so I think I'm gonna just send it, see what she does, but at either rate, uh, I wanted to let people know about these Generation 2 Trick Flow heads. Now, on Generation 1, they had different uh, valve angles. The intake was at 13. The exhaust was at 23. Um, and I know that you need different push rod lengths per intake and exhaust. But on these, these are actually a lot, uh, a good bit longer on the push rod length. So I've got to buy some. I just did some simulated uh, uh, piston valve clearance. But... I wish the earlier video had recorded. At either rate, this rain's coming. I got to get this covered up. Uh, let me know what you think. And all the haters, shut your mouth.